Man's progress this past century was unimaginable, but there was a price to pay for this progress. With the explosion in human population and material consumption came unsustainable use of native habitats and species. This year, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature reported that more than 22,000 species are at risk of extinction. Under man's influence, more species have become threatened in the 20th century than any other time. But as the future looked bleak for many animal and plant species, zoos took on an important role in the fight against extinction. A visionary article by Soule and colleagues in 1986 proposed the ARC concept, in which zoos would collaborate to sustain the genetic diversity of vulnerable species for the future, the model for the modern zoo. In 1994, the IUCN supported the use of reproductive technologies to increase the effectiveness of conservation breeding programs. These technologies could provide us with time. Time to build their numbers back up, time to stabilize vulnerable ecosystems, time to change our habits. As a young biologist, I realized that many reproductive programs were working hard to save species that were primarily from Africa or Asia. But who was worrying about the Canadian species? We are fortunate that progress has given us the technologies to preserve an individual's genetics indefinitely. Wouldn't it be amazing to know that herds of animals are waiting in frozen storage for the right moment to repopulate the spaces that we have restored?